Monday on Monday, where I am long on thoughts but short on time. Except today. You don't rush this one. Now, I get it. He can be dismissed as sappy, quaint, boring, not sexy, just for kids, and ancient. But that's dangerous. Superman's power may have been otherworldly. Iron Man's power may have been worldly. But in the way he expressed it, Mr. Rogers' otherworldly seeming lack of power has the ability not to conquer the world, but redeem it. Won't you be my neighbor? This film moved with the brave pace of Fred Rogers himself. Slow, deliberate, quietly choosing substance over style. Inviting us into a neighborhood where simplicity Simplicity is celebrated beauty. Tears are welcomed relief. Dignity is a gift you already have and cannot lose. And permission now as adults to stop and in his own words, remember back to someone who smiled at you until you were smiling, laughed you into laughing, and loved you into loving. This film's beauty is not just in the clarity of its truth, but in the revelation of the object of its truth. A man whose earnest sincerity, unwavering devotion, and patient subversions of short-term political tactics and sensational media brings me to tears for his message's eternal relevancy, kindness, and comfort. But how do we keep forgetting his message? We keep forgetting to answer his question with an honest question ourselves. Am I a good neighbor? Would someone want to be my neighbor. To take Mr. Rogers from inspiration to realization, it seems that every day it would include keeping one teary eye on his mercy for the young and defenseless, and our other on what it takes to be that neighbor ourselves. But who is my neighbor? According to Fred Rogers, it includes someone I don't know, maybe I don't like, from whom I am different, and with whom I have no seeming commonality. That's hard to abide. So why do I even care? Well, first, he liked me for who I was, gracing me with dignity. Second, he challenged how I wielded that dignity, letting me see that there is an identity out there that will not crush me, doesn't depend on my performance, and will not leave me as I am, but build me up as someone who can build up others. Third, he showed me that, armed with this, good isn't who you are. It's what you do and say, and that's the real power. And though not all things are good, there are always good ways to defeat fear and evil, overcome it, work through it, and for the rest of our lives, lives grow into that good neighbor we want to be when he asks us to be his. One capable of loving and trusting as he first loved and trust us before we could even earn it. Mr. Rogers gives us this in every episode and this film distilled that magnificently. He lets us be mad, confused, cry because things are not always cheery, Valencia filtered, filled with friends, or even easy to understand. And then he challenges us to be that neighbor for others. He demonstrates that being gentle isn't being weak, and being strong isn't being mean. Putting ourselves in the posture of caring will indeed make us care. And so finally, that being a good neighbor is joyful working for the other's good as hard as you can, loving them in the midst of disagreement even. Look for the helpers. You will always find people who are helping. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. May we all be able to say, as you said, I hope that you'll remember. Even when you're feeling blue, that it's you I like. It's you yourself. It's you. It's you I like. You've made this day a special day by just your being you. There's no person in the world like you. And I like you just the way you are. Won't you be my neighbor? If you like these short humanistic essays, please don't forget to give me a like, comment, share, and most importantly, click that subscription button. This is just a conversation starter, but I believe that as a community, we can continue to both enjoy pop culture and entertainment, understanding how it shapes our lives, as well as how we can shape it for the healing and the good. And that's my Monday. Now back to yours. Now I get it. He's easy to dismiss as dismiss as sappy. Dismiss as sappy. That's not good writing. Who wrote this? Who wrote this? <laughs>